You're listening to Tim Bulkley's Five Minute Bible. God is an exegete, but one. Have you ever noticed that God in the Bible sometimes exegetes his own words? It happens in 2 Samuel chapter 7, where David, apparently embarrassed at living in a fancy wood panelled palace, while God is worshipped in a tent, wants to build a house, means a temple, for God. Verses 1 and 2. Now, when the king was settled in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, See, now I am living in a house of cedar, but the ark of God stays in a tent. Nathan gives an off-the-cuff answer, and, perhaps a little unwisely, offers God's blessing, without having sought any instructions from the boss. Go do all that you have in mind, for the Lord is with you, he says, happily. And then he goes home to sleep. God's message is just four words for Nathan and for David. Well, it's a few more in English. In RSV has, Are you the one to build me a house to live in? Which catches the tone of it, probably. Four words in Hebrew. You, with the sign of a question attached, will build for me all that in one word because Hebrew can attach direct and indirect objects to the verb as well as subjects making one word unit a whole verbal clause a house for me to live in see how compact Hebrew can be with the verbs hata tivneli bait lishivti you will build for me a house for me to live in God then exegetes these four words to Nathan. House Verse 6 I have not lived in a house since the day I brought the people of Israel from Egypt to this day. I don't need a house for me to live in. Verse 6b and 7 But I have been moving about in a tent and a tabernacle wherever I have moved about among all the people of Israel. House again. Verse 7b did I ever speak a word with any of the tribal leaders of Israel whom I commanded to shepherd my people Israel, saying, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? In verse 8 he addresses himself to David and deals with the you. Now therefore thus shall you say to my servant David, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture from following the sheep to be a prince of my people Israel. Are you the one to build for me? and then he carries on to explain the build for me and I have been with you wherever you went and have cut off all your enemies from before you and I will make you a great name like the name of the great ones of the earth and I will appoint a place for my people Israel you see God takes each of the four words in his little speech and exegetes them so that we can understand house I haven't lived in a house to live in but I move among my people Israel you for me build for me I'm the one who does the building and then follows that great promise of God building for David a house see all the word play language is fun and God enjoys using it but you have to look carefully to catch what he's saying unless of course he explains it to you himself in this part all I've tried to show you is that God exegetes texts and enjoys it. In part two I'll look at how God exegetes this text. But for now enjoy what you've heard and play with the Bible. TTFN <laughs>